You know, all the day yesterday, as I was watching football and, uh, you know, basketball, it actually didn't really occur to me that today's actually been one full year since I've had a YouTube channel. I mean, I started making videos on January 1st, 2018. But I actually waited until Easter Sunday a year ago, which happened to be April 1st, which also happened to be April Fool's Day. That was a weird, it was a weird time when it was last year. Anyway, but yeah, it has been one full year since I've had a YouTube channel. You know, I actually remember frantically trying to upload all 90 videos that I did you know, previously, because in case anyone wanted to watch on YouTube from the very beginning, you had the option, which is awesome. So, honestly, I like that, I mean, there's sort of, you're, I mean, no matter what you do, you're always going to fall into some kind of routine, you, you, you just do. And, seriously, putting stuff on, like, YouTube... And then moving on to Instagram, and at the end of last year, moving on to both Twitter and Tumblr. Like, you get into a nice rhythm. And, honestly, I really enjoy this. I, I do. You know, it's 456 days in. Hey, 456. And, it, uh, it gets really surreal how far I've come. It's even more surreal when you stop to consider the fact that, you know, it is no longer March, you know, hence no green tie or green tie free, whichever you like to, whichever you want to call it. And, you know, there's plenty of stuff to look forward to this month. Again, Easter is in less than three weeks. That's going to be a really fun day for me. Um, you know, today is April 1st, you know, it is April Fool's Day, so if you have some sort of elaborate scheme or or prank you want to pull on someone that is within reason of course let me fix my hair right there anyway that, that that is within reason then you know you can do that and you know in my area you know hokey pokies and corning and the dairy barn and big flats they're both opening up today i'm definitely checking both of those places out um so yeah even though that there is plenty of stuff to look forward to in april you know, I have to say, March was a really good month for me. Oh, actually, you know, I'm three minutes I forgot to do the usual. Happy Monday, everybody. Anyway, um, yeah, forget that. Anyway, so, again, March was an uncharacteristically very good month for me this year. It was. I mean... Yeah, I was training for the St. Patrick's Day 10K, and I knew I was going to do the polar bear plunge, which I did that and, you know, accomplished both of them. But I honestly didn't think it'd already be over. Again, this last month was very kind to me. Maybe it was because I sort of, you know, adopted some better health habits too. You know, I've been doing that intermittent fasting thing, taking nice cold showers in the morning, you know, stuff like that, but I feel better, I, you know, I just have extra energy, I mean, I still, you know, fall asleep when I do feel tired, of course, yeah, it's fine, it's like the one Johnny Bravo cartoon, is like, well, doctor, after eating, I experience a loss of appetite, sometimes for hours, and at night, I lose consciousness until the next morning, <laughs> yeah, that, uh, Johnny Bravo was a good show, anyway, um, so, I would say that here's to hoping that April is just as good, if not better. And, you know, I'm always going to be, you know, optimistic. If you've watched me long enough, you know that I pretty much promote nothing but, or at least I try to promote nothing but good vibes, even if I don't outright say it. But, oh, sorry, that was my computer right there. Um... With that said, 
again, I get the feeling like as time goes on, it's going to get, you know, significantly warmer. You know, we're all going to start being in, you know, better spirits. You know, I think, I think April's going to be better than I think it will be. I don't know if it'll be better than March, but we'll just have to take it one day at a time. You know, you know, baby steps. Which I'm okay with. There's no need to no need to rush into things. I mean, it's only twenty after six right now. April's only just started, so yeah, a long way to go. And if any of you guys are worried, no, don't worry. I do not have some sort of elaborate prank or ruse that would that I, I would do to you guys. I, I wouldn't do that. For that matter, I uh, I wouldn't even know how. Again, I mean, I'm only technologically sound enough to be able to you know make these videos and also draw this. That's another thing. Today was the first. A year ago today is when I first revealed that, so, yeah. One of these days I would like to reveal who the rest of the people of the 16 of the right and the 16 of the left are. I would like to do that. But honestly, I think it would be better if... Because, uh, because even with Andrew... Uh, even with Andrew Einstein and Sean Bertanza... There's actually several people on both sides who are still no longer with us. So first, I would rather have anyone who is still alive be a guest on these videos first before I would then outright reveal what the initials on both of these arms signify. Actually, I mean, I for the record, if you guys are wondering, yes, I am in fact using Sharpie when writing on my arms. Because, again, I'm not talented or good looking enough to don a tattoo so you know it makes sense that i would simply not you know just just use a sharpie plus you know it serves its purpose so i'm good there um yeah with that being said though you can still say yesterday was pretty exciting i mean First you had, uh, actually, yesterday was a whirlwind of stuff you could watch on TV yesterday. Like, outside of, um, you know, football and basketball, you know, uh, Freeform was showing, uh, you know, like, Disney movies. They're like, there was, like, Finding Nemo and Zootopia. I love, I mean, I love Finding Nemo. I love Zootopia. Moana. I love Moana. You know, there was a, it was, like, if, if you wanted to stay in, yesterday and just watch tv all day you would really hit it big if you were doing that i certainly did in terms of stuff like that was on that was interesting that i wanted to watch so it was like it was like a, a treasure trove of channels that were right for the thing in fact um fxx was actually showing last last night fxx was uh showing uh lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring as well as American Idol was on too, which, man, narrowing it down from 40 to 20, that's a, that's a pretty big jump, but yeah, although I'm still sad that that one Kobe Swift guy didn't go on, I like that guy, he was the one uh, guitar playing cowboy guy who, uh, Actually, had like torn boots, and Luke Bryan gave him a pair of his own boots to give to him. And you, and he said these boots are made for walking to uh, to the next round. So I thought that was really cool. But yeah, he's out. I didn't really stay to watch um, all of who was out or all who stayed in, but some performances. I mean. For the most part, the fact that people got up on stage at all already shows how good they are as, you know, singers. But you could tell that, okay, some you could tell that they're, that one, that one's moving on to the top 20 and one isn't. Although one joke Luke Bryan said was, uh, we can't imagine you, no, it was Katy Perry who said this. We can't imagine you 
We can't imagine a top 20 with you not a part of it or something like that. Basically, she was trying to say you are in, but in a way where it was like trying to trying to play with emotions and high expectations or whatever, which, you know, I get. You know, for 20 people, your life is basically going to change forever in a way. And for 20 other people, you know, the road ends in Hawaii. So that's... That's cool. Or sad, depending on whether or not you, uh, you make it. So, yeah, how about we talk about, um, the football games yesterday. Um, well, I was right about Arizona beating San Antonio. They definitely have something to prove. And Atlanta, yeah, so poor Atlanta. Yeah, I'll be the one to say that they're the worst team in the Alliance and... I'm just saying, they did put up a good fight against Birmingham. They actually did a lot better than I thought they would. But, uh, yeah. It really wasn't the greatest day for them. Oh, well. It is what it is. And speaking of being it is what it is, how about basketball, shall we? Because, oh boy, I personally have never filled out a bracket before. But... I know for a fact that a lot of people had Duke winning it all, and, uh, sorry. What can I say? Michigan State really wants to win after the whole Tom Izzo scandal that just happened the other day, I guess. I don't know. Although, I would still like to point out that we are in April right now. Can we re at least refer to this as, like, April aggravation? Or a April aggression. Something that actually, you know, uses alliteration as well as the month that we are in. I don't know. I guess that, I guess it, it don't matter to me, I suppose. It is what it is. Hey, yeah. So, yeah. I'll get into, huh, huh, excuse me. I'll get into, what I think should move on. Oh, actually, I forgot to say, uh, I was right about Auburn. I thought that Auburn went over Kentucky and they did, so I was right about that. That's really cool. So yeah, our final four now, Auburn playing Virginia and Texas Tech playing Michigan State. I'll get into what my picks are going to be as we move on close, as we actually get Probably on Saturday, who am I getting? That's pretty much where I always do my picks on whenever I do it. So, yeah, definitely look forward to, uh, you know, Saturday. Definitely look forward to, you know, the end of, you know, the NCAA tournament. Look forward to the near completion of the Alliance because the Alliance of American football season is almost over. You know, if you live in the Corning or Big Fights area, you look forward to going to Hokey Pokies or the Dairy Barn today. Look forward to doing a lot of things. And, you know, I also look forward to me talking about a lot of other stuff, too, on these videos. Because, you know, it's been one full year since I've been on YouTube. And there's still so much I want to talk about and so much I want to say that I'm going to need a lot more videos than 456 of them to finish it all. And I'd sure be grateful if each and every single one of you was definitely a part of that. So like, favorite, and hit that subscribe button. I could really use the support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always, I am very humble. I made this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I'm hopeful that we all have a wonderful Monday, a wonderful April Fool's Day, a wonderful April 1st. It's just a, one, a new month, man. Brand new day. Go for it. And remember, if you guys don't want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to let an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.